guys, it's Friday and that means it's time for another double penetration of review. So today I'm going to review my YouTube career so far. So we're going to go to my channel and we're going to go to channel stats. So I have a total of 1,311 views and I have 17 subscribers. You guys are my favorite 17 people on the earth. So I've had 15 likes, 3 dislikes, 13 comments. Most of them were, you know that those are two different kinds of hummus, zero shares. Didn't you guys learn how to share in kindergarten? You're supposed to share. Three favy faves added. Zero favy faves removed. Good job, guys. Consistency. Okay, so it also shows you your top ten videos. I'm just going to do my top six because those are the ones that have hit over a hundred views. Number one, how to ride a motorcycle. I don't understand why that one has the most because most of you told me you couldn't even hear what I was saying and that it wasn't funny at all. I think most people are just amused by a 100 pound girl trying to teach you how to ride a motorcycle. That thing was so heavy. It was on a kickstand and I tried to extend my leg and lift it up. I could not. I could not even stand it up. Second is my very first video, Hello YouTube. The third is Rejected, which I don't understand that either because I literally filmed that in my car and it took two seconds to edit. Number four is Gassy Hall. Five, what's in my fridge? And six, 10 second tidy remix. I don't understand. Every single page I go to says a different amount of views. Like for what's in my purse, it says 50. When I view it, like all my videos together, it says 70. That's 20 views I'm being cheated out of. And I don't think those 20 views were me because they don't count if you look at your own videos, do they? Because I can make all my videos go viral. Trust me, I have the time. Let's look at the demographics of my viewers. Top geographies are the United States. Pretty boring. Germany? What? What? People in Germany watch me? What was that? The United Kingdom. Oh, Canada. Whenever I think about Canadians, I always think of the little guys in... South Park, whose top of their head is detached from the bottom of their head, and they just talk like, and last is Norway. I can't think of an accent or any stereotypes for Norway. Then let's look at the genders. 57% of my viewers are male, and 43% are female. I wonder why 57% are male. Can you think of a reason? I can. Nothing comes to mind. Now let's go to my inbox. By the way, what does it mean if someone adds you as a contact? What does that mean? Someone help me. 151 said, <laughs> Done. And also, you are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Dizzy. Camera died. Can I request that you show your legs in your future sped up videos? The reason I don't show my legs in a lot of my videos is because I never shave them. Yep, I am a hairy bear and I need my fur for the winter. My favorite comment is from Oh God of Flight and Go. Your vidi, vidi, I like that. Your vidi reminds me of Mr. Chai City. Keep your refrigerator stocked. First of all, I don't know what video you're watching that makes you think of him. Because I watched it, and although I like to think of myself as a hilarious black man, I'm not. I love getting feedback and hearing what you want to see, and just hearing what you think about my videos in general. So leave comments and video responses and send me messages. I mean, look at me, I'm talking to a camera right now. I need some human interaction. So I've actually been really good this week and been writing the daily reviews on my Tumblr. And this 
week or month or until I decide to stop, I'm going to be doing a special segment where I review this book. This is the literary magazine from my school. And each day I'm reviewing a different story or poem or piece of art from it. Yesterday and today I did a two-part review on Alex Gonzalez's two stories that he submitted. They were really amazing and you should go read about it on www.carolineglenn.tumblr.com. If you want one of these books, just message me and I'll see if I can possibly get one for you and send it or something like that. I don't know, it sounds kind of sketchy. If you live in the U.S., they're $8, Canada, they're $10, and USSR, they're negative $8, okay? So that's all for reviewing today. Hope you enjoyed this double penetration. Bye!